Good morning. Uh, it's Monday, July 25th. A uh, little update what's going on in the shop today. I didn't get to paint until Friday, so stuff cured over the weekend. Now, you know me, my day starts on Sunday night. So last night, I everything that was supposed to ship out that was on the board that that um, from the from the previous week that was uh, planned to ship out, um, it's all painted. All the stuff here, these are extras, you know, stuff for inventory. Got me some Echo Series, got some Cat Deletes for 1330s. Uh, and this over, whoa, that right there is a test uh, pipe for a friend of mine, Robert Hicks. He's gonna try that out. That's that new Echo Series for the, the Can-Am F3 Turing or, or RT. Uh, I'm gonna see what, what it sounds like, what his opinion is on it. Uh, and then it, if it if it works, it works, right? So uh, it looks really good. You know, I put it in the jig, I attached it up to the factory catalytic converter, and positioned it just like I thought it should be positioned. And man, the layout looked fantastic in my opinion. So I can't wait to see it on an actual bike, you know, and actually see what what it sounds like, because you know that's. That's where the, where the real questions are answered. Uh, but this morning, uh, like I said, I've already boxed up about 15 exhausts last night. This stuff still has to be boxed up for inventory. I plan to do that today. I'll box all that up, put it on the shelf. Now I have stuff that's not shipped out that did sell over the weekend. Uh, that new Twin Chaos oh, for the Riker is back in stock and this thing is radical guys the the when you let off the throttle on this thing the way it rumbles down uh you know it has a deceleration pop it's like yeah 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 i know right do that again uh but anyway it's freaking awesome it, it talks like 17 different languages okay it, it is fantastic now is it loud whoa mama it's loud you rip the throttle, oh my gosh, your hair's gonna go uh, The little poochies are gonna run and uh, all that. It's, it's crazy loud. And it's my opinion, it's a little bit, it's a little bit extreme, it really is. But, you know, um, I like extreme, so there you go. And so do a lot of you guys. Now, if you're not looking for extreme, don't be messing with that twin chaos, it's just gonna upset you, right? Go for something like the, maybe the uh, the Echo Series or the Stealth Series, Twin Chaos is on the other side of things. It's like, it's it's the most extreme exhaust that I sell. But as I said, when you let off the throttle on this thing, the way it sounds as it, the RPMs drop, it, it rumbles down, and I've got a video coming for you guys on that. I've got a camera set up on the bike, and I, for the GoPro, I got a little mount and a little arm, and we're gonna do something Maybe the same when it cools down. It's really hot right now. It's already 100 degrees. Uh, but um, today, what I'm doing, getting those boxed up, putting them on the shelf over here somewhere. Uh, so those are ready to go. Want an Echo Series for a rocker? Boom. No wait time. Dropping today. It can literally ship today because we've got about 13 going out, or 15 going out today uh, that are in the living room. Uh, actually, I need to... I need to um, Put those vents right there get the trim on them and get them boxed up too we got a red set of air vents have you seen these air vents now this isn't a finished product guys this is just coming out of the paint booth but uh this is before i put my perimeter molding on it i use a perimeter molding by a door trim actually is what it is or a automotive trim and you can see it is like a little channel and i put that around my vents now all these vents are pre-cut. They're exactly the same, as you can see. Perfect, identical. So I wrap these things with a perimeter molding like this. You know, you don't have to have this molding on. You can, if you don't like the molding and the installation process, snatch it off, take it off. And all, all it is, you know, it's held on there very well. Just by putting it on, it holds itself on there itself. You know, it, it like grabs on to it. So I, I put it on there like, like it's so, and of course I'll cut it right there. And then I'll put a little piece of a, a, a 
tape to bond over that seam. Now it's not gonna come off, that tape is there just, just because I want something a little bit extra, you know what I mean? But this stuff won't come off, I mean look, it won't come off like, it's got a bunch of weight hanging on it. So I mean, it, it's it's very, very secure on the vents, but um, these are a set of the red Octagon vents. These go for your air vents on the sides of the bike. You know, these are installed with zip ties. Uh, along with my radiator grill guards. If you haven't seen those, hold a second, hold a second. Now this version you're about to see is the new polished version. And I'm sorry that it's on screen and ready to go. But here you go, check this bad boy out. The new Octagon radiator grill guards. Uh, and this is the polished version. It has a little bit of a bling to it. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> so, if a uh, radiator, radiator grill guards and or air vent protectors or, you know, these are really just accents. They don't, you know, maybe it'll save a grasshopper from going in there, you know what I'm saying? But, well, they save it, you know what I mean? It's really about accenting the bike, giving it a little bit of flash, you know? Say you want green or red or blue or white. White really snaps and pops in those places. Now black, I'll tell you right now, people that think about, yeah, I'm gonna get some of those and we'll get them black. They disappear. It's like, hey, if you're gonna get them black, you might as well just save your money, bro, because they just disappear in there. Now, if you want black, and you want people when they're up close to your bike to be able to look at it and you go, ooh, that's kind of cool, and, and you're doing it for yourself, which is what I do everything for myself, but um, then, then, then go for black if you want black. But really, I mean, it just, when, when you put something behind that that um, that pattern, see how it stands out? You know, well, a dark shadow behind it stands out too. So white and silver, they really pop, they stand out. Black, it just disappears. Now, these things, these grills, these are protective. I mean, this is lightweight, but I mean, my head couldn't even stand to it. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, a little pea gravel ain't coming through this bad boy. It ain't happening. Now, could it dent it? Possibly, but it ain't coming through it. You know, it's almost a six, it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick aluminum, you know. So, pretty solid, pretty solid piece there. Not not thin and flimsy. Now, can I bend it? Oh, yeah, I can bend it. It's aluminum, you know. But, uh, but it's going to stop anything that gets some damage right here. So, so, um, that's where I'm at today. Just letting you know. I'm fixing to weld some more hooks on. What I've been doing this morning is welding the little hooks on my Riker mid pipes. Uh, and I noticed I'm almost out. So I ordered some welding rods. Cause what I do is I take a, a stainless steel welding rod, a big thick one, 332nd. And I, um, I put in a little jig thing that I have and I bend these things and, um, and I come up with this. Bling! <laughs> and that's that's what the springs hook up to. <laughs> but hey, you guys, if you are um, riding today, y'all be careful out there, be safe. Uh, people in this world are just watching out for themselves and what's going on in their own little world and they ain't watching out for us. So ride offensively. Yeah, be on the offense all the time. Not the defense. No, no, you're 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 attacking. You're you're attack the traffic. Attack it. <laughs> Never let the attack uh, the traffic attack you. That's the way I look at it. I drive offensively, <laughs> and if you do something wrong, I'll get offensive with you. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, y'all have a great day. Uh, Mondays can be rough for some people. I say. Psh, Make every day what you want it to be, right? You have a good one.